Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyson and this is Seeking Birdies. Today I am talking about traveling with your golf clubs. Now imagine you pack your clubs, you check them through the airline, you sit on a tube cramped up for four or five hours, finally get to your destination, excited to go golf, and this is what your driver looks like. No one wants this. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I packed my clubs to make it virtually impossible for this to happen. Roll the intro. Before we get into today's video, I would love for you to go down and push that subscribe button so you can follow along on this journey. When you push the subscribe button, there'll be a little bell icon. Make sure you click that so you get notifications of when I post new videos. Today we are talking about traveling with your golf clubs. So how does this happen to your clubs when you check them? It's simple. The airlines do not care about your golf clubs. So this could be your brand new M6 driver. This could be your putter. This could be any club in your bag if it's not packed properly. So Tyson, what do I need to properly pack my clubs? So to pack your clubs, you're gonna need a travel bag, your golf clubs, your golf shoes, any wrenches that came with any clubs that you have that have removable heads, some golf towels, a sturdy pole, such as an old closet rod, and your rain cover. So most golf bags come with a rain cover. If you can find it, that'd be great. So let's get all this stuff together and let's pack up our clubs as if we're going traveling tomorrow. So the first thing I do when I'm packing up my clubs is I get my club rod. So I use an old closet rod that I put some tape on. It looks cheap, but to be honest, it gets the job done and it only cost me a couple dollars. I had to cut it down to size. So I put it in right next to the tallest club, which is my driver. So some people, some other videos said that you can use your alignment sticks, that that will protect your clubs. To be honest, I think those are just as flimsy as your club shafts. So I would not rely on just your alignment sticks to replace a steel rod like this. They do sell specific rods that you can get for your golf bag for traveling. So I put that in. Next, what I do is I get out my wrenches and I remove all of the heads that can come off the shaft. So I will take them off, they come off very quickly. Before you take off any of your heads, there are settings and adjustments that have probably been made on your club. So you're gonna wanna make sure you take a picture of that with your cell phone. So, you know, find out what lie or loft setting, if they, you've got a draw on it or anything like that. You're gonna wanna take a picture because they are adjustable. When you get to your destination, you're gonna wanna know what your clubs were, were set at and how you can put them back to how they were. So I've already done that. I take the shaft, I put it back in there. I take the club head, put it in the head cover. I fold it up and then I put it in my bag. Same thing with my three wood. Key thing, do not forget your wrenches. Next, what I do is I turn all my irons inside, place them in, and then I have two golf towels. So I put one on each side. Usually when I'm playing at, they're on both, they're both on the one side. But what I do is I take it and I wrap it. But what I do is I weave it through. So I don't just go around the outside or around just a couple clubs. I weave it all the way through. And then what I do is I tuck it in to one of the slots in the back and that kind of holds it. Then I do the same thing with this one. So I'll wrap that one up and this will go right there. Okay, so now that I've got them wrapped up, it's just a little bit more secure. It'll kind of hold them in place. Next, I grab my rain cover and I put it on. I put it over the rod. down I snap it in front and back. so next we load it up into our travel bag so now that I have my clubs in the travel bag everything's strapped in I grab my golf shoes and I put it on the side so most travel bags they have some width to them so you can fit some extra stuff if you have extra jackets sweatshirts anything like that that might put you overweight in your other checked bags you can put that in here as well Extra clothes is extra padding when it comes to your travel bag. 
After you've got your shoes in there and you're ready to go, zip it up. Finish these buckles here on this bag. Cinch them down, do the handle. And we are ready to travel. That's it guys, that is how you pack up your clubs for safe travel. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or just want to say hello, I would love to interact with you down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already. And as always, keep seeking birdies. Thank you.